So I just got the Edelbrock fuel sump system that I'm going to be using with my Sniper EFI. And you can see on there that it says do not open. Yeah, I get it, but uh, even if this pump in here is rated for 30 million run hours, eventually it's going to burn out. And I'm just kind of curious what the uh, procedure would be to replace it, see if that pump might even be available. And I'm just generally curious of what's inside it. So I have a 330 seconds Allen key here. Let's open it up. Just got home from work and the package was at the front door and I couldn't uh, couldn't wait to get it open. I don't really foresee anything being uh, like spring loaded or whatnot that opening this would really hurt. I hope I don't screw it up. If not, I guess I'll just have to fix it. So just the four bolts there, a little Allen key, let's see. So this comes off, there's the first view that you see. And you can see that there is the vent here and then the uh, vacuum, I have to go back and look at the manual exactly what the nomenclature is on that. but. Seen a few YouTube videos and nobody really showed it up close, so that's what you get. Let's see. Oh, look, we got one more right there. And these may be holding it down, I'm not quite sure. But let's see what happens. Like I said, I really hope it doesn't mess anything up, but. I don't foresee it being anything that uh, can't be fixed. I mean, someone had to assemble this, so. I should have got my T-handle. Looks like there is a little bit of sealant or thread locker. Nah, that looks more like sealant, probably. Probably sealant. Let's see what happens there. No, it's not coming up. Uh, you know, if you look in there, there's some white stuff that may actually be somewhat glued. Hmm. I'm still going to take these four out. Let's see what happens here. Break it free. I wouldn't be able to go to sleep tonight not knowing what's in this thing. I've been thinking about it for a week. Ordered it from Summit. They seem to all be about the same price. Summit just happens to be right down the road from me. I'm just outside of Fort Worth, so uh, Summit gets here Dang there next day. It's a few things it's been a couple days, but mostly everything is next day. Yeah, I should have definitely got my T-handle. Oh well. That's what happens when you do this in one take. I could get all organized and lay it all out and do some fancy editing, but that's just not me. I like to do everything in one take and uh I don't know. Hopefully you guys either watch it or you don't. 50-50 chance, right? <laughs> I know you probably don't care to sit here and watch me take these bolts out, but I guess fast forward if you want. So happy. Oh, there's my fancy uh, 
Yeah, that's my fancy camera mount. Bottle of acetone and go-kart weight. <laughs> High quality production here. Oh, hey, there's my go-kart motor too. I'm gonna throw a uh, hop-up kit in it. It won't be legal for the class that I run, but it should be pretty dang fun to rip around the track. Eight million projects, but hey, that's fun, right? Anyhow, what I was saying before the phone fell is is going on my 1982 Ford E250 kind of line that I'm making into a camper van. So, no more bolts up top. Hopefully this pops up, let's see. Yep, it moved a little bit. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Damn. Where is it? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right. So, I guess it's just packing grease. It's definitely... See the liquid dripping from it. It's not fuel. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe mineral oil or something. But check it out. How would I change this? I don't see any numbers on it. Maybe it's a generic fuel pump. I'm not real familiar with them, so... Uh, you can see you got the floats here, spring, have obviously a little pre-filter there. There's your diaphragm. Yeah, it's got sealant on it. I hope I didn't screw anything up. If I did, like I said, it's all repairable. A nice little packing grease right there, you can see. So maybe that white stuff is just kind of assembly lube, if you will. But, really much more, not much more to show you. You can see down in there, there's still a little bit of fluid. Man, yeah, it almost just smells like, I don't even want to say mineral oil. It's almost no smell at all, but it's definitely oil-based. You can, you can feel it. I guess they uh, bench test these before they send them out, but anyhow, I was uh, really curious on on the pump here. Didn't want to be stranded on the side of the road one day, whether it be a year or five, ten years down the road, and not know what I had delivering fuel, so uh, let's see. Might as well pull it apart. Look at there. Yeah, all right. It just has almost like a little Schrader valve in there. This is my first uh, EFI, or like Sniper EFI add-on system, so I'm not real familiar with these these uh, pumps, these high-pressure pumps. Obviously, we have our modern cars and stuff, but that's all uh, fuel pump in the tank, not the uh, kind of add-on system that I'm doing here. This is going to be a mechanical mechanical pump feeding this and this is going to create the high pressure to go into my sniper EFI throttle body setup so anyhow that's what I got I'm going to push that back in a little bit better before I reassemble it all but pretty cool hope someone out there learned something oh look there's a little ball valve I didn't even realize that at first see it right there maybe is that for the vent no what goes on the vent? So go this way. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. It looks like this goes into the vent hole. That is the ball where the ball bearing sits. I don't know, guys. If somebody knows better than me, educate me. Like I said, I kind of just wanted to see what the uh, what the the. I guess procedures were to replace that pump. Pretty cool little device. They're proud of them, a little expensive, but I think it's gonna be a nice little install, so cool. Hope you guys learned something. See ya, thanks.